have you with us at a very fine hockey game. This has been a good game to watch. Yeah, I've been really impressed. Uh, we knew that this young uh, Cape Breton Oilers team was fast. I mean, they're built after the great Edmonton Oilers teams. Glenn Sather knows that speed wins, and that's the way they won with Wayne Gretzky's era in Edmonton. So this is a fast team, but they're better defensively than I thought. But now Portland's trying to bring in the muscle, and they got some misconducts. They do have some misconducts, and some of those misconducts look a lot better than the ones you've seen tonight. Love. There's nothing in the world that compares to the feeling that fills my heart when you hold me close to yours. By day, Cheryl Brown lives in a world of hearts and flowers, designing greeting cards that are laced with sweetness and the sensitivity. Come on, kill her! Go get him, Jenner! Oh, I think he's bleeding. By night, she lives in a world of slashing and checking, as misconduct, the penalty box attendant for a minor league hockey juggernaut called the Portland Pirates. Penalties get called against them, and, and I'm in there in the box and um, to comfort them. She enjoys her job, and when we're in a penalty box, uh, you know, we, we enjoy our job, too. Hey, Kevin, I didn't think you'd be in to visit me so early. You and I. <laughs> Well, I know every team I've played on, it's a bunch of old men sitting in the penalty box. <laughs> in Philly, they have the guys with the face masks on now, and uh, here in Portland, we've got ourselves a, a good-looking lady with uh, a great set of legs on her. I increase my vocabulary every night, I think. With exotic phrase. Exotic, that's a good word. I don't mind uh, sitting next to her. She kind of smells sweet, I know that. Geez, where's my manners? I haven't even waited on you. What do you guys talk about? Oh, well, we talk about the game. Uh, she tries to uh, just calm me down and uh, get you going for next time you're on the ice. How you doing? How are you feeling? Go get him, Bruno! Try to ask her out on dates. You know, just the usual things. Have but... you asked her out? Oh, no. <laughs> Not enough guts yet. Has a player ever asked you out? Uh, no. No, not yet. <laughs> Are you married? Uh, no, I'm not. You have a girlfriend? Uh, no, I don't. Well, I mean, you know. Well, hey, <laughs> never know what could happen. With hospitality and service like this, it's no wonder the Pirates are among the league leaders in penalty minutes. It's kind of good getting penalties, actually. <laughs> My mom and dad don't even know what, you know, it's supposed to stay out the penalty box, but they don't know what's in the penalty box to get in there for. Any players who have taken a penalty on purpose just to get in the penalty box and see you? <laughs> Maybe a couple times, maybe out of curio curiosity. Are you all together? Where to go, babe? Yeah. You gotta have fighting in hockey. It's part of the game. Oh my God! I think it was kind of funny the other day when she got kicked out. <laughs> she let the ref have it. The ref? You know, excuse me, sir, but I don't think you might have meant to call that penalty, and he kicked me out. She got a game that's gone for it. She had to get. She got thrown out of the penalty box. What'd you do to get in here? Do you think down the road we'll see misconduct from coast to coast and different leagues around the country, and that would make you a trendsetter? Uh, I don't know. I I really think there can only be one misconduct. Well, I'll tell you something. The Portland Pirates lead the American Hockey League in penalty minutes. In case you were wondering why. There she is. Why wouldn't you want to go to the penalty box? What kind of job is this? Ooh, I have the best job in the house. Yeah, but the question is, how did you get it? Well, uh, it sort of stumbled upon me, actually. I've been here ever since the Pirates started playing, and I just volunteered to do it. Now, I want to know, how did you get thrown out of a game? Well, I had words with the linesman and then with the referee. So uh, I guess he felt like I shouldn't be there anymore. <laughs> You know what I can't believe is the guys, nobody's asked you out yet. Not yet. They don't have time. They're too focused on the game. See, that's the problem with the young players in the American League. They just don't have the courage yet. Hey, tell us about this fight. What do you think of Kevin Kaminsky's fight? He, every one of his fights are great. I love it when he fights. It's always a show. we got a new hero, Darren Banks. Yes, yes. He gave a really good one at the end of the second. You know, I think you like these. I love the fighting. It's my favorite part. I, I, I think I like you. <laughs> Cheryl Brown. Turn around here. Cheryl. She, she's better known as Miss Conduct. Ah, no wonder they go to the penalty box in Portland. We'll be back, or at least Bill will. <laughs> Oilers <laughs> lead for two. Still down. Oh. Netted 19-13 to make it a 4-2 game. Miss Conduct back in the box. There she 
provides her services during the evening of games here for the Pirates. She loves this. What a great line. What do you do in the penalty box? I comfort. Kaminsky.